Hey guys, some gamer dude here. I did intend to wait till the week was over to make another spoiler video, but today's spoilers were rather alarming to wake up to. Before we get to the topic at hand, I'll talk about yesterday's spoilers. Jeanne d'Arc, Heroine of Shadow, is a 200-200 Darkness Shadow Resonator for Black. ETB to search your top 5 for a Darkness Light card and place it into your hand. Rest go to the bottom of the deck. You can also banish her for one of each crystal. I'm curious what this card really is. Is this the Darkness Percival? A one-off? Or are we going to see a cycle of dual-colour Percy-type cards? The actual card is pretty good. You can search out Unknown Mother Goose, Schrodinger, or Shadow Swordmaster to make that combo really consistent. All three are light-dark cards. If you choose to banish Jean, you can lower the amount of cards needed for Shadow Swordmaster to just Jean herself and either Unknown Mother Goose or Shadow Swordmaster, then take your chances on hitting the other one in your top 5 search. Presuming you have 4 of each, that's a nice 42% chance of happening. Good card, I like Jean. True Black Ribbon is a Darkness Edition for Black and another argument for the return to Edition Resonators. Comes out added to a Resonator, gives it minus 200, minus 200, and that Resonator loses all abilities. That's pretty nifty, really. You can make some things a lot more manageable. Won't hit J-Rulers or cards with Barrier, but it hits a lot. Better yet, if the card it's added to dies, this card returns to your hand. I'm not sure why it just doesn't have Bestow over this ability. Seems like it really should given its functionality. Maybe it's not considered powerful enough by itself, but I think the shutdown effect is pretty good. Maybe not make the cut good, but it has its uses. So let's get to the topic of discussion, the Black and White Wolves. Black Wolf is a 600-400 Darkness Fairytale Beast Resonator with precision for black. Statistical power creep. Not happy, Jen! So now we have a one drop nearly as powerful as a two drop on base value. I get it, it's meant to be like Magic's two one for one. Something that used to have a downside, but hasn't since Theros. But Force of Will's stats are already a tick up from Magic's. If anything, Force of Will should be trying to swing the other way. Reduce statistical power. The effect honestly makes it worse. Plus 200, plus 200 for each Darkness Crystal you have. As I've mentioned before with Unknown Mother Goose and Schrodinger, easy 4 Darkness Crystals for plus 800, plus 800, or a 1400, 1200 that can attack with precision on turn 2. Delightful! This is like a 1 drop reaching 7-7, on turn 2 in Magic. We're all aware that this is vastly too powerful, right? Oh, and this thing is a common. White Wolf is the same thing inverted. A 400-600 light fairy tale beast resonator with Drain. Plus 200, plus 200 per light crystal for white. I really don't think a 300-300 that gains plus 100, plus 100 per crystal or had a threshold of crystals it must meet to gain a power buff would have been objectionable at all. 300, 300 with plus 100, plus 100 still reaches 700, 700 with four crystals, above a two drop statistically. Make it a threshold of say three to gain 600, 600 on the 300, 300 body. That's still 900, 900 on turn two that can attack. I think that's a hell of a lot more reasonable. Yes, these cards are just beaters with keywords. They aren't the worst things in the world. But it's what they could represent that terrifies me. The game doesn't need more power creep. I think the Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Duel Masters hybrid with the combo wombo play and the stat line we have now is a good place to be. I'm also worried about looking like a fool here. In my review, I said that I Spy had been doing a great job, and up until today, I still thought that was the case. I even pointed out to Jeff in my comments that statistical power creep happened way back in the original Valhalla, creeping up to what cemented itself in the original Alice Cluster. He claimed it was a recent thing when it was not. But now it is. 
I really hope these cards are just a freak incident and not representative of what's going to come to pass. Otherwise, I don't think Force of Will can cope with it. Not now, and not again. <laughs> I'm in danger!